Okay, today I'm going to be uh, working on her head and shoulders and the upper part of this dress and if I can get to it, uh, the braids that I'm going to put on to uh, her uh, head that will tie in the hair. Time to play with some clay. got to just flesh in the skin a little bit more. I'm not going to show all the muscles in the neck because I don't need to. She's not straining. She's not uh, in a life-threatening position. She's uh, just standing there enjoying this warm breeze that's uh, coming off the prairie. And she's Just enjoying the morning. In a moment of privacy. Okay, I want to establish the center line of her head. If I can find my knife, there we go. Okay, that divides the hair because she's going to be wearing braids and I want to have the uh, hair well uh, parted. This is a uh, Cheyenne girl here and you can see how tight and how smooth her hair is and it goes behind her ear. This is another Cheyenne girl. Same thing, tight and behind the ear. I like the uh, loose hair down in front of her ear, and I think I might try that. I'm going to wait till I uh, get the braid on the uh, head before I work on her ears. Right now my prep is to get the uh, neck to where I like it. All right, I'm making the uh, upper part of her opening of her dress out of bonser clay because again, it holds its shape. And if I work on the neck and I happen to rub against this clay, it won't deform. This is the uh, red trade cloth at the top of the neck. And uh, let's see, I can show you here. This is the red trade cloth here. That's so that the uh, neck is uh, 
comfortable in the opening of the dress. I'm just marking in the uh, boundary of the upper bead area. I'm just indicating beadwork here. All right, I'm going to hopefully do a good job here. I don't want to put too much of this paint on uh, that beadwork because I want the texture to come through. So I'm just being very careful with my brush. I got a little stiffer brush so that it, uh, it won't obliterate my texturing. Now the, this paint goes on real bright and shiny, but it dulls to uh, look more like the clay when it dries. I also came down late last night and did these uh, beaded parts of her sleeve. It just, there wasn't much to see. I was mostly off the piece, and, but I had to come up with a way of making the textures and the, or the pattern for the, uh, the beadwork. This would be a blue or a white background with blue dot, uh, blue squares and red 
uh, triangles. And I had to figure out a way of doing all that. Yes, the bead pattern is on the back of the dress as well. move on to the hair and I'm trying something different with the hair which I will not go into detail on because I cover how I do the hair in some of my instructional videos. Now the difference between the way I make my braids or originally or before is different this time because I want them to hold their shape and soft clay which is J-Mac clay, the uh, plastiline that I use, would not hold its shape very long. Okay, it's time to start work, working in the uh, hair textures. I notice uh, my model takes the side hair and sweeps it back behind her ear, which I'm obliterating because of uh, that. And that's what I'm going to do. It doesn't show that in the... Uh, the old pictures of the two young uh, ladies, Cheyenne girls, but I like the feature and I'm going to take artistic license and put that in. I'm basically just blocking in the hair right now. And I got my light at an extreme position so that I can see the textures of the hair better. Because once again, a little phrase I came up with many years ago, a sculptor is a shadow pusher. That's all I do is shape shadows. Well, there she is. She's getting there slow but sure. When I get done with the hair, then I got to work on the arms and the hands and the piece will be done. Uh, and I'll set it aside. It's not completely done for casting. It's just done to this point. 
Um, and as far as I'm going to take it right now until I can sell a few. I'm actually going to work on her face before that I put it aside. I do want to get that done. But I repeated the uh, bead pattern on the back of her dress uh, as well as on the front. That way uh, it's uniform in this construction. Um, but I'm happy the way this turned out. I, putting that hair on really kind of ties in everything. All right, everybody. Good night, and I'll see you next time. Give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell also don't forget i have instructional videos available now online the link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos later everybody good night